स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सपना जूम स्कूलिंग यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व 4.1 द वर्ल्ड इज माइन पोएम्स इंग्लिश वर्कशॉप नमस्कार विद्यार्थ्यांनो मी सपना तुम्हा सगळ्यांचं स्वागत करते मी पुणे जिल्ह्यातनं आहे तुम्ही कोणत्या भागातनं हा व्हिडिओ बघताय मला नक्की कळवा तर जर तुम्ही नवीन असाल चॅनलला चॅनलला सबस्क्राईब करा बेलायकन दाबा इथे सगळ्यात पहिलं आपण मार्जिंग क्वेश्चन साईड क्वेश्चन किंवा चॅप्टर पेजेसमधले क्वेश्चन बघणार आहोत डिस्क्राईब द यंग गर्ल इन द बस आन्सर द यंग गर्ल इन द बस हॅड लवली सिल्कन हेअर शी सेम्ड हॅपी अँड फेअर हाव एव्हर शी हॅड ओनली वन लेग अँड वोर अ क्रच येट शी वॉज स्मायलिंग वॉट डिड द स्पीकर इन द पोएम नॉट रिअलाइज वाईल कॅचिंग चॅटिंग विथ द यंग लॅड आन्सर द स्पीकर डिड नॉट रिअलाइज द यंग लॅड वॉज ब्लाइंड वेन ही चॅटेड विथ हिम Why did the blue-eyed boy not join the others in their game? Answer. The blue-eyed boy did not join the others in their game because he could not hear due to being deaf. What does the speaker thank for God for? Answer. The speaker thanked God for giving him two legs to take him where he wanted to go, giving him eyes to see the sunset's glow, giving him ears to hear what he wanted to know. More importantly he thanked God for making him blessed and giving him everything to ensure he could live properly in this world Ata apan English workshop cha prashna sodavto hai video avadat asal to nakki like kara video la so amala ek khup protsan milta First question hai complete the following after reading the poem okay so you have to read this poem now we are going to complete it The poet saw a lovely girl hobble down the aisle Second the poet wanted to buy from the lad some sweets the poet told the boy to join others to play but he couldn't hear and the poet request god to forgive him now the match the following the beautiful girl ata ida a and b i even match karu ya so the beautiful girl so uttar yanare had a handicap in her legs सेकंड बी चं उत्तर येणार थर्ड वॉज व्हेरी थँकफुल टू द स्पीकर इन द पोएम द चाइल्ड वॉचिंग अदर्स प्ले चं उत्तर येणारे वॉज हिअरिंग इम्पेअर्ड आणि डी चं उत्तर येणारे ही कॅन एक्सपिरियन्स द ब्युटी अँड गिफ्ट्स ऑफ हिज लाईफ थर्ड क्वेश्चन आहे वॉट डज द पोएट मीन वेन ही सेज द वर्ल्ड इज माइन एक्सप्लेन द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ टायटल विथ रेफरन्स टू द पोएम हे सगळं जगच माझं आहे म्हणताना कवितेचं इथे द वर्ल्ड इज माइन म्हणण्याचं काय उद्दिष्ट होतं त्याचं काय महत्व आहे आपल्याला स्पष्टीकरण देऊन सांगायचं आहे कवितेच्या रेफरन्सचं ह्याचं उत्तर आहे वेन द पोएट सेज द वर्ल्ड इज माइन शी मीन्स शी हॅज द अबिलिटी टू एक्सपिरियन्स द ब्युटी अँड गिफ्ट्स ऑफ हर लाईफ शी रिकग्नायझेस that god has given her everything that she needs to live her life well and she is truly blessed in the poem the poet narrates her experience meeting different boys and girls who have some physical disability she meets a girl in the bus who is handicapped in her legs she meets a lad who is blind and also a boy who is hearing impaired after interacting with these boys and girls the poet realized the gift she has been given by god she thanked god for giving her legs to go wherever required for giving her eyes to see the beauty of this world and also ears to hear all the sounds around her this is why she says the world is mine and there is nothing stopped her from exploring the world and living her best life now the question four answer in your own words a what is the theme of the poem ya kavita chi theme kay ahe uttar hai The theme of the poem is to be able to recognize our gifts and be grateful for the ability to live our life well. Too often we complain and focus on what we do not possess instead of focusing on what we do have and how they are all such a huge blessing. There are people in this world that do not have what we possess and are still able to lead a happy life. B question do you think people with some handicap should beg for money justify your response tumhala asa vatta ka ki janna apangatvo hai tanni bhik bhik magitli pahije paishan sathi tyacha tumhi response daycha answer hai people with some handicap should not beg for money the reason for this is that begging will not help them elevate their condition instead they should focus on learning skills or working in an environment where their disability will not be problem that why way they can earn for themselves and become self sufficient 
they will themselves feel better as they will lead a life of dignity now the c question what is better to completely take over the work responsibility of a disabled person in order to help or encourage such a person do himself herself in a different way justify your choice answer a i believe it it is it is better to encourage such a person to do it herself or himself in a different way there is a saying that give a person a fish and you will feed him or her for a day teach the person to fish and you will feed him or her for life this is the reason why we should always encourage a person with some disability to learn skills where their handicap shall not come in the way of making a living with new skills the person will be able to earn and do things for themselves they will become self sufficient and also be able to lead a life of dignity question 5 make a list of pairs of rhyming words from the poem for example wine mine answer hair fair asyl smiles charm harm kind blind dear here the rhyme scheme of the first two stanza is stanza 1 a a b c c and stanza 2 a b b c c d d question 6 pick from the poem lines which contain the figures of speech a in virgin answer later walking down the street i saw a child with eyes of blue interrogation answer i stop a moment then i said why don't you join the others dear onomotopoia answer oh god forgive me when i whine apostrophe answer oh god forgive me when i whine question 7 pick out four lines that contain imaginary a i saw a lovely girl with the silken hair b i envied her she seemed so gay i wished i was so fair c later walking down the street i saw a child with eyes of blue and four d with eyes to see the sunset's glow question 8 among your classmates one is unable to walk properly the second one can't hear properly and the third one can't see this beautiful world all of them are facing lots of difficulties in life compose a dialogue among them about the problems and difficulties faced by them you can take help of the following dialogue to expand your ideas so we have given this idea dialogues aplyala pustakamadhe he dialogues dile hai ek don teen se आणि आपल्याला ते एक्सपांड करायचं सो वी नाव गोईंग टू एक्सपांड इट स्टुडंट वन इट इज रिअली टफ फॉर मी टू गो एनी वेअर आय हॅव टू प्लॅन एव्हरीथिंग मेटेक्युलसली कन्सिडरिंग ॲक्सेसिबिलिटी अँड ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन चॅलेंजेस नाव द स्टुडंट टू साईन विथ हँड्स आय कॅन्ट हिअर अ थिंग कम्युनिकेशन इज अ बिग हर्डल पीपल ऑफन मिसअंडरस्टँड ऑर ओव्हर लुक मी स्टुडंट थ्री आय अंडरस्टँड युअर डिफिकल्टीज बट इमॅजिन नॉट बिंग एबल टू सी द वर्ल्ड्स ब्युटी it's a constant struggle for me i miss out on so much student one true we all face unique challenges and it's important to empathize with each other's struggles student two nods absolutely our difficulties may differ but we all deserve understanding and support student three let's help each other navigate through these challenges and make the most of what we have together we can overcome these obstacles <coughs> question 9 develop complete a story in your own words and suggest a title now the topic is a polio victim and and a strong but visually challenged man where friends they wish to go play homage at a place of worship 3 kilometers away now continue the story and try to end it with a related moral proem okay so aplyala topic dile apan ta story lihayche yacha varthi title so lihayche so aplya story cha title hai journey of friendship okay now let's start to write this story once upon a time in a small village there were two inseparable friends raj and arjun raj a polio victim moved around in a wheelchair while arjun a visually challenged man possesses incredible strength both in body and spirit their bond was unbreakable and they faced life's challenges with unwearying support for each other One day sitting under the shade of a banyan tree Raj expressed a deep desire to visit a revered place of worship located 3 kilometers away Arjun ever supportive immediately agreed we will make this journey together Raj undeterred by their physical limitations the two friends embarked on the journey 
Arjun guided Raj with his strong arms and keen sense of direction along the way they encountered uneven paths rocky terrains and bustling markets despite the hurdles their friendship provided the strength needed to overcome each obstacle as they reached the place of worship the serene atmosphere enveloped them raj feeling the spiritual energy expressed his gratitude to arjun without you my friend this journey would have been impossible arjun smiled to friendship knows no boundaries we may have physical limitations but together we can achieve anything while playing homage they heard a wise elder say in the test tapestry of life friendship is the most beautiful thread the moral of the pro this with pro a friend is near is a friend indeed true friendship transcends physical limitations and together friends can overcome any challenge with that life presence now the question 10 recite read your favorite or any english poem before the class take help of so here are some points confidence and fluency which apna kavita mantra kay kay pahije confidence and fluency atmavishwas pahije ugote pana pahije appropriate pronunciation intonation pahije chad utar pahije avaza take proper pauses stresses mhanje kuthe zor dayacha hai kuthe thambaycha hai kavita mantana proper voice and tone आवाज व्यवस्थित पाहिजे त्याची चाल टोन व्यवस्थित पाहिजे पे अटेन्शन टू द म्युझिक अँड रिदम ऑफ वर्ड्स अँड लाईन सो या सगळ्या गोष्टीचा विचार करता स्टुडंट कॅन रीड एनी पोएम लाईक इव्हन अदर पोएम्स माय इंग्लिश कोर्स बुक्स सच एस बास्केट फुल ऑफ मून लाईट ट्विन्स कोणतीही कविता म्हणा या गोष्टींचा विचार करून क्वेश्चन इलेव्हन ए ट्रान्सलेट इन टू युअर मे मिडियम इन्स्ट्रक्शन अ डिसेबल्ड पर्सन शुड बी रिस्पेक्टेड इन सोसायटी म्हणजे अपंग व्यक्तीचा समाजात सन्मान केला पाहिजे सेकंड be a true friend ignores you weaknesses corrects you and encourages you to make full use of your strengths answer ek khara mitra tumcha vaigunya kade durlaksh karto tumche doshanchi sudharana karto ani tumcha samarthya cha purna vapar karnyasathi protsahit karto and see one cannot change everything that one faces but nothing can be changed unless one faces it म्हणजे एखाद्याला धैर्याने तोंड द्यावी लागणारी प्रत्येक गोष्ट बदलता येणं शक्य नसते परंतु धैर्याने सामोरे गेल्याशिवाय कोणालाही कोणतीच गोष्ट बदलणे शक्य नसते नाव द क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व्ह राईट अ लेटर टू युअर फादर रिक्वेस्टिंग हिम टू अटेन द सोशल अँड कल्चरल गॅदरिंग ऑफ युअर स्कूल टेक हेल्प ऑफ द पॉईंट्स गिवन बिलो आपल्याला पत्र लिहायचं आहे आता हे वडिलांना पत्र आहे म्हणजे इन्फॉर्मल लेटर हो की नाही तर यासाठी पॉईंट्स दिले आहेत सोशल अँड कल्चरल गॅदरिंग अ मेगा इव्हेंट व्हरायटीज ऑफ ॲक्टिव्हिटीज कंडक्टेड इन द गॅदरिंग युअर पार्टिसिपेशन इन टू ऑर थ्री ॲक्टिव्हिटीज नीड टू बूस्ट युअर कॉन्फिडन्स आता हे चार पॉईंट दिले आहेत ना ह्या चारही मुद्द्यांचा तुमच्या पत्रामध्ये लिखाणात वापर केला पाहिजे लेफ्ट हँड साईडला तुम्हाला पहिला ॲड्रेस लिहायचा आहे डेट लिहिली आहे थर्टीन जानेवारी टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी फोर गुरुकृपा निवास कॉलेज रोड विमाननगर पुणे पिनकोड दिला आहे चार शून्य शून्य अकरा डिअर फादर आय होप यू आर डुईंग वेल आय होप दिस लेटर फाइंड्स यू इन अ गुड हेल्थ अँड हाय स्पिरिट्स आय एम रायटिंग टू एक्सप्रेस माय अर्नेस डिझायर फॉर यू टू अटेंड द अपकमिंग सोशल अँड कल्चरल गॅदरिंग ॲट आर स्कूल विच इज शेड्यूल्ड टू बी अ मेगा इव्हेंट दिस इयर द सोशल अँड कल्चरल गॅदरिंग इज अन ॲन्युअल सेलिब्रेशन वेअर आर स्कूल शोकेसेस various talents and activities it is not just an event it's a opportunity for students to exhibit their skills learn from one another and foster a sense of unity and a camaraderie there will be a wide range of activities taking place during the gathering including music performances dance competitions drama presentations and art exhibitions The school has put in a lot of effort to make this event special and the participation of parents adds to the overall joy and encouragement for the students. I am excited to share that I will be participating in two, two, three activities during the gathering. I am looking forward to your showcasing my talents and skills in major activities you will participate in. your presence would mean the world to me and would undoubtedly boost my confidence on stage your encouragement has always been my greatest strength and having you in the audience would motivate me to give my best i am confident that you will enjoy the various performances and activities planned for the day i understand that you have a busy schedule but your presence at this event would be a source of immense happiness for me i am eagerly awaiting 
your posit positive response. Thank you for your constant support and love. With love, Kuhu Kengar. Now the 13th question is project. Divide the class into groups and conduct a poster making competition for I blood com donation camp. Fix up the details of the above camp like time, place, etc. Now you have to write the answer. Students need to create the poster on their own. You can use the following information. Camp title, blood donation camp of rural Maharashtra. Date 30th January 2024. Time 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Camp location Tilak Vidyalaya High School, Viman Nagar, Pune. Pin code that's it. Rules and guidelines. Each group should consist of five members. The theme of the poster should revolve around the significance of eye and blood donation. All necessary art supplies will be provided. However, groups are encouraged to bring additional materials if needed. Judging criteria will include creativity, relevance to the theme and overall visual impact. Completed posters should be submitted by submission time at the designated area. So in this way you have to write the your answers. जर तुम्हाला वीडियो आवडला लास्ट तर नक्की या वीडियोला लाइक करा आणि तुम्ही जो आम्हाला खूप 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 सपोर्ट करता त्याबद्दल खूप खूप आभारी आहो जर तुम्हाला आमचे व्हिडिओ आवडत असेल तर नक्की याला वीडियो लाइक करा चॅनल सबस्क्राइब करा आणि हा क्यूआर कोड स्कॅन करून तुम्ही आम्हाला सपोर्ट करू शकता म्हणजे आमचं काम अधिक अधिक चांगलं होईल भेटूयात नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओमध्ये आणि तो नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ कोणता हवा आहे तुम्ही आम्हाला कमेंट करून सांगा सो बाय बाय